This quilt you would describe as a lap quilt. Um, it's made from um, half square triangles that have been pieced, uh, speed piece in rotary cut and speed piece together. Um, it's made um, as a scrap quilt. Uh, the white fabric I bought as a whole piece um, in America on holiday and the rest of the fabrics are all from um, my mum's scrap bag. So when mum died um, in 2012, my sister and I spent a long time closing up the house and going through everything and finally we got to the loft and we found the scrap bag. Mum had been a dressmaker, a professional dressmaker in London before she had the family and so had always sewn, always made her own clothes and passed that on to me as well. And fabric was bought in lengths to be used, uh, not always immediately for a project. So um, in some cases there were still some long lengths of fabric, so there was quite a large piece of this fabric left and a piece of fabric that I used for the backing had obviously been bought for a dress, but not been made up. Um, probably the most exciting piece of fabric that um, we came across was in the garden shed, uh, wrapped around some tools, um, obviously considered to no longer be um, fashionable or useful. It was an old duvet cover from the 1980s. And um, when we pulled, out, pulled it out, I was very excited, <laughs> as I recognised it as a sort of fabric that um, the young quilters in my quilt groups get very, you know, thrilled about its vintage. So um, it kind of was the catalyst to make me think that I could use those fabrics for a quilt. Um, and it's a bit like a family tree in the sense that the fabrics come down from the well, probably the fifties, not the late forties, through to the sixties, seventies. And I added in some Moda spots, which is the contemporary current fabrics when I made those, that's still going strong. But we've got some um, sort of um, psychedelic -y type fabrics here with the orange. Um, there's a lovely cotton sateen fabric here, which is from the 60s, I think. And then we get through into the 50s with these sort of browny fabrics here. Um, and you've got small prints and large prints. And I chose to showcase the fabrics separated by white because when you put all the pattern together, it all looks a bit too much, but by giving them a white space in between, then you, know, you can appreciate each of them. Um, the binding acts as, as also as a border. So the binding goes around to the back. It's two inches wide. Um, so it's two inches on the front and two inches on the back. And I just felt that it needed a bit more of a definite full stop to it than just a little half inch binding, which would have been traditional. There's a white quilter's dream wadding inside, and the quilting um, was my first attempt at long arm quilting on a mid arm machine that I'd not long bought in order to finish off quilts a bit faster. Um, so it's just a basic vermicelli uh, pattern all over, which draws it all together. So a pinwheel design that's rather special to the family because it contains all the fabrics from our scrap bag. 